All right, guys, let's check out this Victorinox Night Vision. This is the 241730. I'll try to put a couple links in the description. This is a discontinued model. You're not going to find these um, like new anywhere. You're going to have to find it maybe secondhand or something like that. Back in the day when Joma Shop had them in stock, they were $199. I'm sure the retail price on them is probably like over $700 or something. Who knows? I don't have that information with me. But big thanks to my buddy Joe for sharing this watch and many others. And I have to say, for a few of the gimmicks this thing has, they're actually really practical. Like, this is an actual useful watch. So let's cover some of that stuff. So you're looking at a 41 and a half millimeter case. A 50 millimeter lug to lug. You can see it's thick. It is a chronograph with a date. It's 14 and a half millimeter thick sapphire crystal. 21 millimeter lug width, but that ain't that isn't gonna matter. You're not gonna put another strap on this thing because the way the lugs are done. I'll flip that over and show you here in a second. Six and a half millimeter uh, push pull crown. It's not a screw down crown, and it weighs in at a hefty 178 gram. It's not sized for my wrist, but it's still really heavy. Um, it is very substantial feeling for sure. It is a quartz movement, guys. It is a quartz chronograph. You can easily start the chronograph right there, and you'll see that go ahead ticking away. You also have your running seconds here off to the right, and then you'll have your 12-hour counter, and then you'll have your 30-minute counter there, and then your date down at the 6 o'clock. The 3 and the 9 are both cut off by the sub-dials. I know that triggers some people. They could have just, honestly, for me, I don't mind it, but in this circumstance, they could have just done indices there. They didn't need to do the three and the nine cutoff. It was totally unnecessary. So the reason I say you're not going to change the strap on this watch, if you look closely, it's hard to demonstrate, but the center portion of there is, um, that's part of the watch. So you can see how the, the bracelet end link articulates around that. So that little piece that's encapturing or, you know, hugging the center of the spring bar, that stays with the watch, meaning that you're not going to put a strap on there because um, this piece is on the watch, because this piece is on the watch, which is the night vision, which is a light. So there's a close-up of the dial. You can see a lot of different things going on here. Down towards the bottom, you have a locator light and E-O-L, that's end of life. So there's a red beacon down there. I will run through the functions real quick. We already have the chronograph going. You can push this out and adjust the date and the time. That's pretty um, remedial. I don't need to do that. So this pusher over here is what we're going to be looking at. I think we can leave it zoomed in for this. So essentially, if we do two quick pushes, then you will have this LED light here. So it's like a little flashlight. Let's, I'll kill the light so you can kind of see. It, it works, and it works well. So um, just for miscellaneous task, you're going to be able to get that going, and it's going to be helpful. Okay? So let's turn the lights back on. We might do the lights on and off a couple times just to demonstrate. Now, you can do the two. You can actually single push, and it'll shut it back off, or it'll automatically shut off after two minutes. Okay. Three pushes. Just so one, two, three and it goes into a pulsing. So it'll pulse 150 pulses over two minutes, and that's however you think you want to use it. So you just hit it again to shut that off. Um, let's see, what else can we do? So if we do five pushes, one, two, three, four, five, you now have your locator beacon here. So this red light, very small and bright and intense, will flash every 10 seconds. There you go. And it is it is very bright. So that'll help you if you dropped your lost, you're trying to find it or whatever. Um, the other reason that light will flash is if it's end of life. If your battery's low, this light will start flashing every 10 seconds. To shut that one off, it doesn't auto shut off. To shut this one off, you have to again push this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's off. And some of these, they won't work, I think, if you have one engaged, the other one won't, sort of thing. There's another one, if you hold, if you push and hold this down for five seconds, one, two, three, then this does a different flash pattern, 
and it's brighter and more intense. This is a um, a signal. So this is for like, uh, I don't know if it's Morse code or what, this is to try to get somebody's attention to, and to help. So, and then to shut that off, you again have to hold this down for five seconds. Okay, now that's off. Now, um, I'm gonna kill the lights at least partially because the other thing we can do is if you just push it once, then you have this light up here, which lights up the dial and you can change the, the color of it. Somehow, I was doing it earlier. There you go. So if you hold it down once you're engaged, then you can change the colors by holding it down for a little bit and then cycle through them. So there's like a, a navy blue, a green, a red, an orange, a green, like a greenish colored one, and then the violet. So if you, if you look at those in the full dark here, you'll see even better how much they play with the dial and change the overall look of it. This part was not covered in the manual. And then this, this will automatically just shut off once you're done. So I don't know how long it stays on for. It doesn't stay on for super long and then it'll just fade out. So let me pop this on my seven quarter inch wrist. I know I went long on this and we I usually don't cover all this stuff, but this one has a few tricks up its sleeve. It is a butterfly clasp and a, and a keeper. So that part I'm not a huge fan of. It would have been nice just to have a fold over, but it's fine. But honestly, it wears on wrist really good. Even though it's a little bit thicker and has a little bit of weight to it, it, it works really good. And it's super legible. So to pop it off, you got to flip that keeper and then do the butterfly clasp. So um, if we reset the chronograph, because as you can see, it's been keeping track for the whole time, essentially. So if we reset it, it sweeps around and resets. So there it is. If you guys have any questions, chime in in the comments. If you've ever had one of these or want one of these or something like that, chime in. I think it's really cool. It's I've never handled a watch with all of these extra lighting features. And some of them could potentially be useful depending on how you're using your watch. I think the little flashlight thing for sure, and then the different colors to illuminate the dial, I dig that. I like that. It's fun. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.